Hi all welcome back today i'm sharing how i deep clean my washing machine and out to lead today washing machine are the most useful appliances in anyone's house it is very important to take care of it because with the pass of time and with lot of wear and tear lime scale is deposited inside the washing machine and it reduces the efficiency so it is very important to descale the washing machine i descale the washing machine every once in a month or at least once in 3 months depending on the usage So for this I'm adding half cup of vinegar and one fourth cup of baking soda in the soap dispenser tray, and I will run the drum clean cycle that is provided. If you don't have the drum clean option, you can run your washing machine in normal cycle, but increase the temperature. What this does is this thoroughly cleans the inner parts of washing machine along with the lime scale that is deposited, and this improves the efficiency of the washing machine. So you can see the steam is cleaning from inside. Doing this not only ensures better quality of wash clothes but also prolongs or increases the life of your appliance. I also like to clean this drum ma- pump maintenance filter once in a while but you would need a set of pliers to open this as this is really very tight. Now open this and clean this filter. many times pins buttons and other things get stuck in this filter so it is wise to clean this once in a while you can wash this filter or clean it down with a wipe or cloth after cleaning you can put it back the same way i also clean the water filter that is attached to the inlet pipe in the washing machine it can be easily opened and cleaned many washing machines are different but nowadays all of the washing machines to provide this filter this is just to reduce the effects of hard water to the appliance so cleaning it thoroughly with some soapy water or even a tissue paper is advisable once in a month or at least once in 3 months After cleaning everything you can put it back the same way. You can clean any detachable filters in your washing machine. This also helps in using a lot of less resources like water and electricity. Now after you clean the filters and everything it is advisable to clean the surface of the washing machine by using an all purpose cleaner and some cotton cloth. I also like to use some toothbrush to just clean some nooks and corners. You can just wipe it clean once in a while. If your soap dispenser tray is detachable, then you can remove it and clean that as well and again attach it. The dryer. I'm also cleaning inside with a piece of cloth. And after every cycle it is important to clean the rubber gasket as a lot of stagnant water is collected here and this results in a lot of residual build up and lot of deposit build up and after every cycle it is advisable to leave the door of the washing machine open for some time just so that the washing machine parts are nicely dried cleaning the door once in a while also helps in proper maintenance So that's it for now. I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching. Do share it with your friends. Bye guys.